Welcome back. Let's put the spotlight on a couple of stocks that are buzzing around today. And HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics, is definitely one of them. UBS has initiated coverage on the stock with a buy rating, uh, despite this huge dream run that HAL has had. Horma, so tell us, uh, you know, what are the the additional triggers that UBS sees ahead? UBS is calling it a potential compounder and a very credible compounder at that when it is initiated coverage today on Hindustan Aeronautics. It's a buy rating. The price target of 3600 implies a potential upside of almost 24% over the next 12 months. And it is saying that HAL has the potential to triple its order book from the current 80,000 crores in FY23 to almost 2.5 lakh crores by FY26. The bullish commentary there. And the stock, now it's saying that ordering activity at HAL is likely to accelerate due to the fact that India's military aircraft strength will deplete going forward due to geopolitics and the need as a result for greater aircraft visibility. And in its bullish case uh, scenario, uh, UBS has also said that the street, the consensus is not yet pricing in faster order completion, the ability to ramp up production, improved manufacturing value add and an increasingly responsive defense ecosystem, which is a bull case scenario for HAL. And Lastly, it has also mentioned that it has the potential to re-rate just the way Bharat Electronics or BEL did over the last decade, provided it gets its execution right. The stock is up, up and happening in trade today. It's at a record high. It also crossed the landmark of 2 lakh crore rupees in market cap in today's session. Okay, thank you very much for that. One would think that HAL has already re-rated uh, you know, a fair amount, 150% in the last one year. But there is a potential to re-rate like Bharat Electronics if the execution is right. Uh, we'll slip into a very short break. On the other side, we will talk about, we'll invite uh, Prana from Bernstein to discuss their 2024 outlook on the financial sector. And we put the spotlight on HDFC Bank, which reported their Q3 business update.